Hi, Tyler. This is Katie Becker. I'm interested in selling my condo down in Sacramento and would like to talk to you. Again, 530. So what's crazy is, and I'll just go through there, is <clears throat> I'm not a practicing realtor. I'm not in production, let's call it that. And I'm still getting referrals. It's crazy because I sold my real estate practice. I put systems in place. At the time I sold it, I had 18 months where I was able to show on average, 35 referrals on average, some months higher, right? On average, 35 referrals coming in every single month. And what's crazy is not only did I sell that practice, I sold my systems that I put in place. Some of the systems that you guys have taken on yourself, but what, what has trumped that business has been uh, inconsistency. The person I sold my business to is inconsistent with what I was doing and has stopped it. They didn't see the value, which is fine. They bought it, guess what? It's all said and done, it's fine. But they didn't see the true value of what I was doing. They didn't buy into it and they didn't respect the referrals. I respected the referrals and I, I hate when I see people that says the referral business is dead. It's not dead, guys. I promise you, it's not dead. That call right there proves that it's not dead. I sold a house to this woman 10 years ago. Um, then she bought a condo two years after that, eight years ago. And I stayed in contact with her through my systems. Now, I personally haven't stayed in contact with her for the last uh, two and a half years because that's when I sold my business, actually three years ago now. I have not made any contact. She's someone I care about, someone I, I think, but when I sold my business, I sold my book of business and I I'm not a in production. And so what happened was this realtor who I sold my business to completely neglected my systems and guess what? The referrals have gone down. I see them because they still have to pay me a referral fee on, on them as my third year closes here and the referrals have gone down. They're not 35 a month, I promise you. So it makes me think, was it because I was so great and they're not? I, I don't think so. I, I think the systems that you put in place, you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be, there, there's many of realtors that were better than me. I was consistent, right? That's what I was good at. And so the referral business is still here. That, that call right there is, is a call to show that people still want that relationship. You saw how excited her tone was. She was pumped, she was fired up. I haven't talked to her, she wants to catch up with me. And I've engaged with her since, and I've referred her to a great realtor, um, but guess what? She still wants to, I wanna know what's going on. You're, you're, you're doing so many cool things, and I just, I love real estate, and I wanna talk about it, and people wanna talk about real estate. And so here we are, afraid to call our, our, our past clients, our friends, we're afraid to talk about real estate in this crazy technology world. And guys, I love technology, and I think it's gonna be here to help us in so many ways. But don't lose the relationship side of this. The referral business is still strong, it's still there. Um, it, it, I, this is not just one call out of the random. I get several calls about this, but I wanna just demonstrate this with you guys uh, on today. So I hope you take this tip, you call some of the people you love, you, you, you call the people like this, that can't wait to hear from you. They want to hear from you. Because the moment that they wanna sell or they wanna buy and they haven't heard from you, I promise you, the referral business will die. Your referral business will go away because you have lost that, incons you're, you're inconsistent with staying in front and in contact with the people who you should love. Because they love you, they wanna do business with you and they wanna use you as a realtor. You should stay in contact with those people.